Yeah, I'm excited. This is an iconic part of Africa, the southern part of Africa, and Lesotho is quite close to my hometown. So I've spent some time just exploring parts of it. It's proper rugged. It's it's remote. It's tough. Um, I think the teams are going to be in for a massive um, surprise out there. I think that a lot of people underestimate this country, and I think um, this is going to be a proper adventure, a proper expedition. It's been two years, two and a half years since we did the next big expedition race. So looking forward to being able to get out there and you know go through the highs and lows that you do and and go into just go into that those dark places and come out on the other side. I think. That's what we're looking forward to and yeah, after two and a half years it's going to be nice to be out doing long races again. I've literally not heard of the country before two weeks ago, so that makes it a bit more interesting. Um, I guess climate wise it seems fairly similar to home, I mean much higher altitude wise and we're struggling a bit this morning just to move around. Um, hopefully we'll get used to that. I think uh, our high highest point in Denmark is 160 metres. So uh, being here at 3,000 meters is uh, kind of a difference. I think the altitude is what we've uh, been talking about a lot. And then the weather, it's, hard. it's been hard planning for uh, what kind of weather we're going to see. But actually the temperature right now is somewhat what we have in Denmark. Uh, maybe hope for some bit, uh, bit warmer weather in Africa, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. This race is not going to be a race to race. It's going to be a race to survive and to finish. Some teams are going to survive faster than other teams, but it's all going to be about survival. It doesn't matter if you're a top team or, or, or a back-end team. give our best but you never know here in the mountains and the weather and the donkeys and the donkeys <laughs> and the orienteering so we will take one stage at the time and we will see our prayers were heard we have a sunny start that's all we asked for whatever happens from here well we'll see Went through, wait, went through 10, 11 maps just on this leg. It's just like piece to piece. It takes you 15 minutes just to piece the whole thing together. Um, now we got to go and try and put the whole puzzle piece together. Um, no, yeah, 214 Ks, it's not going to be given away. It's going to be sticky. I think there's going to be a lot of mud, a lot of walking, a lot of pushing, clogged up wheels, but. Uh, Everyone's got the same conditions, so we'll do the best we can with what we've got. So it's gonna, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a long one. Not that I'm gonna need sun cream, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you. 
you know, uh, uh, because of pandemic, uh, we are waiting for this race uh, for two or three years. It was a, a marvelous uh, race because uh, we appreciated uh, all, uh, all this uh, landscape, uh, beautiful, marvelous. We, we didn't know Lesotho at all, so it's a very good uh, uh, discovering and uh, we appreciate a lot. And uh, we love uh, difficult terrain, so it was good for us, yeah. Yeah, it's very different from uh, Europe when, where we live. Uh, our lives are uh, very, what do you say, sterile. Uh, and uh, everything is uh, already worked out and comfortable. And uh, b uh, here their life is uh, simple uh, and uh, they just uh, survive and maybe, maybe don't strive for uh, anything uh, bigger. And uh, why should they? Because it's uh, such a beautiful place and, uh, and uh, there is beauty in this life. Never explain to anybody else what you have done. These guys are our heroes. I can see their tears and their smiles and I can see that we've pushed them so deep that ultimately the race has made them a better person. I hope our family, the families, the friends, you know, everybody who's looking at this unique event see that it is so hard adventure racing. It's just the ultimate sport. 